Welcome to Easy B.Tech, your guide for uh, B.Tech and beyond. In this channel, you can learn the subject very easily. My name is G. Sampar. I am going to explain the subject VLSI. Today, we are going to discuss Vicemas design. So before going to design by CMOS, let us discuss first by CMOS. What is by CMOS? What is the by CMOS? It is designed by by CMOS. It is designed by both technology, both technology, one is a BJT and CMOS. So the definition, so what is a by CMOS? It is designed by both technologies. Two technologies are here. One is BJT and CMOS. So BJT, bipolar junction transistors. Bipolar junction transistors, we can design NPN or PNP. You know CMOS, yesterday we discussed CMOS. CMOS is a complementary metal oxide uh, semiconductor. It is designed both transistors, both mass transistors, NMOS and PMOS. Both transistors are designed. So two technology. If in a design there are two technologies, how many transistors are there? We can use uh, NPN or PNP. So both transistors are there. So so any one of this NPN or PNP and both these uh, two transistors. So total three transistors, two technologies are there. So that is a uh, by CMOS. So it is uh, it is complex design. It is complex design than CMOS. It is a complex design than CMOS technology because there is a extra designing steps need to design this uh, bijunction transistors. So need to design extra extra layer formation so need to design extra layer formation extra layer formation for bjt for bjt on cmos so on cmos yesterday we discussed cmos on cmos there is a extra design or extra layers formation for a bjt terminals so because of this uh, complexity design so it is a low packing density it is a low packing density low packing density it is a low packing density and we have a uh, advantages used in used in ADC, DAC, adders, adders, mixers, mixers, and in uh, operational amplifiers, and in operational amplifiers. 
operational amplifiers. So this is an introduction about uh, YC MOS. Let us uh, discuss about uh, YC MOS design. YC MOS design. So by CMOS design, CMOS and bipolar, total uh, three transistors design in the single substrate area after diffusion of all. Let us see the steps for a uh, designing process. The first step, you can see the first step. Take the P type substrate area. The first one is P type P type substrate area. We can take first P type substrate area. So take a silicon wafer added P type impurities boron. Then it is formed as a P type substrate area. So first it is a P type substrate area. It has a layer representation. It's a cap representation. It is a P-type impurity added to the silicon. So it is a P-type substrate area, the base substrate area. Now the second one, second one is SiO2 layer, SiO2 layer deposition. SiO2 layer deposition and and a small opening and a small opening through and a small opening through small opening through layer SiO2 layer through SiO2 layer through SiO2 layer, then, then N plus N plus N plus highly N plus N plus highly dopants, highly dopants. N plus highly dopants diffusion. Diffusion. Highly dopants diffusion into P type. Into P type. Let's see the diagram. Let's see the diagram here. Let's see the diagram here. It is a P-type substrate area. First, we are taken. Okay. Then the SiO2 layer, and there is a small opening window, and a small opening window here. We can diffuse N plus highly doped. N plus highly doped. So this is for collector terminal. It is a Below the collector terminal, there is a high resistance conducting path is placed. You see these layers are, the layers are, it is a P-type uh, substrate area, P-type substrate area and this one is SiO2 layer, SiO2 layer. And we diffused uh, this N plus highly doped, N plus uh, highly doped, N plus highly doped, highly doped into into substrate, substrate. So high resistance. It is for. Uh, it is it is for 
collector terminal collector terminal conduction terminal conduction okay now now the third one is uh, now the third one is p type epitaxial layer is placed p type again p type epitaxial layer epitaxial layer epitaxial layer deposition epitaxial layer deposition let us see this one let us see this one now. so after n plus diffusion it is a high resistance conducting path used for bjt collector terminal bjt collector terminal now. okay you see this is a p type and again p type epitaxial layer here we diffused here we diffused n plus diffusion over here let us see this layer this is a p type substrate area and again p type epitaxial layer this is a p type epitaxial layer so this is n plus diffusion for a collector terminal this is p type epitaxial layer p type p type epitaxial layer epitaxial layer so p type epitaxial layer let's see let's see the fourth one two openings two openings for uh, n well n well diffusion n well diffusion so fourth one again on the p type epitaxial layer there is a two openings for a n well diffusion let us see this one and this diagram let us see this one now, now what happens here this is a p type layer p type layer p type epitaxial layer here we are uh, diffused n plus and uh, again p type there are two openings two openings for transistors so two openings for transistors one is for cmos pmos transistor another one is a bjt transistor two openings so these layers are this layers are this is a p type ma this is a p type substrate area and again p type epitaxial layer p type epitaxial layer and we diffused n type heavily doped this is SiO2 layer is protected this P type layer and two openings are here so this is for one one transistor let us take it is a PMOS transistor and this is for a bipolar junction transistor and n well diffusion now let us uh, n well diffused over here n well diffused over here now n well diffusion can take this uh, n well diffusion here also n well diffusions two n well diffusions again so this well is for above pmos transistor so this is used for collector terminal this is used for collector terminal and this is used for a pmos transistor formation over here okay pmos transistor formation over here now the fifth one the fifth one three openings now two openings are there one more opening 
is added for uh, three openings for three transistors. Let us see. Three openings. Three openings. Three openings for three transistors. Three transistors. Three transistors. What are the three transistors? NMOS transistor. PMOS transistor and BJT bipolar junction transistor. So we can say BJT. These are the three openings for three transistors. Two openings are there. One more opening is added. Let us see the diagram. Let us see this diagram. Three openings are three openings are here. You see this one now. So again, we go for uh, the designing part of uh, way type substrate area. This is uh, N plus diffusion, highly diffusion, highly doped diffusion for conduction of collector terminal. It will be connected to this. Let's see the next step. And P type epitaxial layer and uh, one opening over here. And uh, this is a second opening. And this is a third opening. This is a third opening. Now, we already diffused uh, N wells over here. So, this first N well, this first N well is for PMOS transistor. This N well is for a collector terminal, as I told. Let us see the layers representation. So, first one, this is a P type substrate area. P type epitaxial layer. Okay, P type epitaxial layer. Now we have this uh, N plus diffusion over here, and this is N well. N well as a substrate area for PMOS transistor. This is uh, N type again well for this uh, collector terminal of BJT. Okay, three openings. So one more opening is for NMOS transistor. So, after this, uh, we have a SiO2 layer. Let's see this one, one. SiO2 layer. SiO2 layer. And this SiO2 layer. Now, let us. Uh, this is the fifth step. Now, sixth step. We can use the sixth step. So, already openings are there. Let us apply gate oxidation. Gate oxidation. Gate oxidation for transistor. For gate oxidations. Gate oxidation for two transistors. Two transistors, NMOS and PMOS. Two transistors. Two transistors. Let us see this one more. The diagram, let me draw here. Let me draw again the following steps. The processing steps in uh, fabrication. The same way it will be happen in industry applications, IC fabrications, substrate area, diffusion, all this. So P-type, substrate area, in diffusion, and again uh, P-type epitaxial layer, you see, this is a uh, one opening, and this one is a uh, second opening, and remaining area covered with the uh, SiO2 layer. When we already diffused this uh, N well, this is also N well. This is also N well. So, let us see the layers representation. This is a uh, P type uh, substrate area, a cap representation. P type epitaxial layer, this is P type epitaxial layer, above is placed, above is placed, and uh, we have uh, N plus diffusion over here. This is N plus diffusion, N type substrate area for PMOS, above PMOS, and this N type for a uh, collector terminal, N type for collector terminal. And uh, we have SiO2 layer, above is protection SiO2 layer, 
SiO2 layer, SiO2 layer. Now gate oxidation. Gate oxidation means uh, you can take a two poly two polysilicons with thin oxide. Two polysilicons with thin oxide one. Two polysilicons thin oxide. You see this one. Two polysilicons thin oxide. Now this is a thin oxide and two polysilicon formed. Two polysilicon formed here. You see this one. Now. Two polysilicons are formed. Now two polysilicons are formed. So two polysilicons. This is for a P mass and this is for N mass and this area is for collector terminal of BJT. Now next we can see the seventh one next we can see the seventh one the seventh one so p type p type base area is added base area added to p base area added to the bipolar p base area added to the bipolar bipolar for a emitter and base terminal emitter and base terminal then then n plus diffusion n plus diffusion n plus diffusion so this n plus diffusion is for this n plus diffusion is for for source and source and drain of source and drain of n mass and emitter terminal of emitter terminal of emitter terminal of bjt yeah this is a process in seventh one let us see this uh, how it will be happened how it will be designed let's see the designing portion let's see the designing portion so what you are doing here it is written now the designing portion so what we should add what we should add so first one uh, basic layers p type substrate area in place diffusion above p type epitaxial layer and uh, three openings are here three openings are here one two and three more this is a uh, three openings in these three openings we already diffused here and well we already diffused here and well now here one more uh, p base diffused over here so what happens this n well will become like this mark it will become like the remaining area this area is a p base area this area is a p base area okay and we have this uh, gate oxidation here for uh, and mass transistor here also gate oxidation for p mass transistor now here diffusion n plus diffusion this n plus diffusion source and drain of uh, n mass transistor so here diffusion mark you can see this is a diffusion part here and here also bjt one terminal is added one terminal is added so let us see the layers representation one by one the below is a the below is a p type substrate area first p type substrate area above is also again epitaxial layer same p type is added okay then here n plus diffusion here for a high resistance conducting path and this is the n diffusion is again for collector terminal so the below this highly doped is conducted connected to this uh, collector terminal collector terminal so conductivity of collector will not affected by this uh, 
will not uh, affected by the substrate area so it will be conduction so low resistance conduction this is a low resistance conduction this is a high resistance conduction so collector is collecting the terminals collect collection of uh, electrons emitted from the emitter so low resistance conduction conduction path here now this is nl is again for a p mos transistor n plus diffusion source and drain for a n mos transistor okay so again this is a emitter terminal this is emitter terminal okay now you see this is sio2 layer sio2 layer sio2 layer okay this is sio2 layer sio2 layer sio2 layer okay we already formed this polysilicon we already formed this polysilicon two gate polysilicons now you see this is a n mos transistor is formed collector terminal is formed this is collector terminal is formed and this n meter terminal is formed remaining is a p type source p type drain and base base terminal need to form so that will be happened in uh, eighth step so this area is uh, this area is p base area p base area now let us see the eighth one eighth one p plus diffusion p plus diffusion p plus diffusion for p plus diffusion for p mos transistor p plus diffusion for a p mos source and drain source and drain and uh, base base of bipolar bipolar so p plus diffusion so p plus diffusion into the substrate area let us see this one the diagrammatically you see this one and uh, base terminal also formed base terminal also formed now p type substrate area and this is a highly doped n plus region and a one opening this is one opening this is for second opening and uh, this is a last opening three three transistors this is n well this is already n well now it will be formed like this okay we already diffused here n diffusion and this is a sio2 layer and polysilicon sio2 layer and polysilicon for a transistor formation so this is a n plus diffusion one this is n plus diffusion now we are doing this one this one this is a p transistor formation p plus diffusion over here this one and p plus diffusion for a base terminal p is a npn transistor so p is a base and n collector n emitter so let us see the layer representation you can understood this so first one p type uh, substrate area we are taken ma and epitaxial layer uh, p type is taken again so p type now we are diffused n type highly doped n type highly doped n type is taken so this below is also n type n type for collector terminal this is for collector terminal and this is also n diffusion for uh, emitter terminal uh, emitter terminal now this source and drain n diffusion for n mos transistor and this is a n type substrate area for p mos terminals p mos terminals now the above layer is sio2 layer this is thin oxide below the polysilicon thin oxide is placed this is a thick oxide this is thin oxide and uh, this is thick oxide and thin oxide then the above one is this is a polysilicon this is a polysilicon gate 
okay now we did this one so this is p plus diffusion p plus diffusion so forward lines with the distance you see difference between this is n plus diffusion this is a p plus diffusion forward lines with the distance here also p plus diffusion so source and drain p diffusion p diffusion here for base terminal p diffusion for base terminal let us see what are the terminals we are formed here so this is a polysilicon gate source drain so this is a gate terminal of pmos source and drain now you can see this is a collector terminal conduction path it is separately designed and uh, base and uh, emitter base and emitter is on p base area this is p base area p base area p base area so let us see if you see a bipolar transistor if you see a bipolar transistor it's a circuit symbol base emitter and collector terminal only this collector is collector is the below below n plus region this is highly doped n plus region and these two and these two base and emitter is below what is the layer is here p base area is here p base area it is a <coughs> low input impedance low input impedance and uh, output for collector current should be increased so output collector current should be increased so it is a high drive current by using this uh, by using this bipolar transistor high drive current so only collector the collector current only collector is below this n type and these two terminals on p base area these uh, two ter terminals base and emitter is on p base area so we are already formed this bipolar transistor and pmos transistor this is a pmos transistor and this one is a nmos transistor how can you say nmos transistor nmos transistor is a source drain n diffusion n type substrate area is opposite substrate area and whenever a pmos transistor is formed so source and drain a p plus diffusion substrate area is opposite substrate area n type substrate area so that you should remember now let us take this uh, uh, the final step ninth step contact cut take contact cut contact cut and metallization metallization for contact leads for contact leads so after that over glass and uh, for bonding pads let us see this step this is a final step you can see this one now this is a final step for uh, by cmos uh, fabrication by cmos designing so p type substrate area again p type epitaxial layer you can see this one opening for nmos transistor the second opening is pmos transistor then the third opening for bipolar transistors so let us see one by one here n well diffusion we are also the first we diffused uh, n plus diffusion and here uh, p base diffused then the collector terminal over here the collector terminal over here the collector terminal over here now this is a p base area just now seen in a eighth step and this is a n diffusion for emitter terminal so here we are taking that gate oxidation thin oxide and polysilicon this is thin oxide and polysilicon thin oxide and polysilicon let us see the layers representation uh, p type represents this is a p type uh, substrate area this is epitaxial layer of p type now this is a n n type n plus highly doped and this is a n well n well for a p type diffusions you see this is a 
and diffusion for only collector terminal and diffusion only collector terminal so and diffusion for emitter terminal and we have already diffusion this is n plus diffusion okay n plus diffusion you can take n plus diffusion here p plus diffusion n plus diffusion p plus diffusion so now take the layers representation n plus diffusion forward lines nearer distance p plus diffusion forward lines with distance and p base area forward lines with distance representation and uh, we have SiO2 layer covered with the remaining area covered with the SiO2 layer then below polysilicon is thin oxide this is thin oxide dielectric layer this is thick oxide 1 micrometer 0.1 micrometer polysilicon is 1 micrometer now polysilicon is act as a gate terminal this is also act as a gate terminal now now except the transistor leads let me take this one is a p base area ma p base area p base area now except the metal leads remaining is covered with the SiO2 layer you see this one only this portion is for contact leads not all the area is required for uh, contact terminals only this much area a small area is uh, contact terminals for conduction connected to that uh, gate source and drain terminals so this is called contact cut contact cut this is called contact cut only this portion small portion is taken remaining area closed with the SiO2 layer you see this one ma base and this is emitter terminal so remaining area is covered so remaining area is covered so this is SiO2 layer SiO2 layer SiO2 layer closed SiO2 layer closed protect this protect uh, this one and this is also SiO2 layer this is also SiO2 layer now let us take the terminals from the terminals you see this is a terminal for source terminal for gate terminal for drain source gate drain this is a collector terminal base terminal and emitter terminal so let you can write this one this is a gate terminal this one is a gate terminal source terminal drain terminal gate source drain so collector terminal base terminal and emitter terminal so emitter is n type base is p type collector is n type so NPN NPN transistor bipolar NPN transistor so base emitter and collector so base is uh, emitter is n type base is uh, p type collector is n type so it is NPN transistor NPN transistor so polysilicon source uh, P plus diffusion, drain P plus diffusion. So this is a P mass transistor. This is P mass transistor. Now this one is a N mass transistor. N mass transistor. So in a single substrate area, these three transistors are formed. It is called a bi CMOS. So this design is called bi CMOS design. So by CMOS uh, design, by CMOS design. If in the examination it will be asked you like uh, only bipolar, only bipolar, only bipolar NPN is asked. If it will be only bipolar NPN, only bipolar NPN on CMOS, bipolar NPN on CMOS. So how it will be designed? Let us see this one. <clears throat> only bipolar transistors. I want only bipolar transistors. 
npn da, npn uh, transistor so first you can take this uh, design with a uh, p type substrate area so then after uh, n type epitaxial layer n type uh, highly doped uh, highly doped layer then n well layer n well layer then you can take a uh, n plus diffusion for contact so this is a uh, p base area p base area for base and collector terminal base and collector terminal so let us see this uh, layers representation layers representation first one is a p type substrate area ma. so this is a p type substrate area we are seeing the top view we are seeing the top view so the bottom is a p type next one next one is n type highly doped n type highly doped n type and n n plus highly doped n plus highly doped n plus highly doped so then after then after this is n well this is n well region this is n well region this is n well region we can say it is a lightly doped n well region n well region now n plus diffusion n well region then n plus diffusion n plus diffusion highly doped n plus diffusion and uh, this is a p, p base area you can take a p base area this is a p type uh, base area p type base area for a uh, base p, p plus diffusion and uh, n plus diffusion for a uh, emitter terminal so you can take the contact source here so black contact contact point you can take the contact from here you can take the contact from here so the terminals this is a terminal for a collector terminal this is a collector terminal base terminal and emitter terminal so we can write this npn so collector terminal collector terminal and this is a base terminal and emitter terminal emitter terminal is n diffusion n type collector terminal is n type forward lines uh, near a distance n type p base area so p type forward lines distance so this is a p type so n p n so emitter base and collector so this this one is a only bipolar npn transistor over p type n well region p type n well region so this is about uh, bi cmos and uh, bipolar npn transistor so please uh, subscribe this channel like and uh, share with your friends thank you